Hi guys, welcome to Zuki's Bar. My name is Shinobi. I'm going to be showing you guys how to work this thing. Yeah, it's, it's a great piece of technology. <clears throat> so, you've got light, dark liquor, and you've got beer. Now here's the difference. Light liquor, if you go like this, you know, do 60. So as you can see here, it's kind of like a, a very bland, very bland color, you know? It's, ugh. So if you hit dark liquor, and just, you know, follow up with it, see how it adds color to that? Makes it, you know, makes it not so bland, you know, makes it look more, more right here, stronger. That's the difference. Now, with beer, um, it's sort of the same thing, but see, with light and dark liquor, you can customize the potency. This is, this is weak, knock you on your bottom. And, and beer is just, eh. Screw this, it's, you know. And it also has like a more beer color, you know, ale to it rather than liquor or, uh, you know, light or dark liquor. It's just one straight orange, yellow. Yeah. Now, when you, it don't really matter which one you pick. If you just do this and if you pick cola, right, all that goes out. It's got a little bit of a... A little bit of a bubbly, you know, ness to it at the top there. Makes it, you know, look like, you know, a cola. You know, because well, cola fizzes, bad. duh. <laughs> <laughs> but see, if I hit light, and if I do the same thing, hit light liquor, but if I hit soda, it's, it's you know, obviously it's going to look bland. But as you can see, there's bubbles in there. But no... No fizz on top. That's just the, the texture of the, the drink. You know? Anyways, here you've got this, this column. Red, green, and blue is pretty much the color coding. And this is white. Just about white or it adds lightness to it because, you know, energy. And then, like, for example, if I want to go dark liquor, cola... And then the last time when I made it, it was like a darkish, a darkish brown. Now, if I put fruity in it, it makes it red. As you can see, there's you've got your bubbles. You've got the bubbles fizz on top, and like I said, it's red. Red, green, blue. Because sour is obviously green. You know, like if you buy candy and you know at a store, it's like mostly green or some color of lime. And then if I do the same thing, if I hit cola, and if I do sour, you know, put about 60% in there, you get green. And then, just to show you guys, blue. Screw those, we don't need to, we don't need to mess with those. And then if I go, same thing, but with energy, comes out like a brownish, like I said, a brownish, gray, or sometimes white. If you make a bad combination, this is what you'll get. You'll either get that color, or you'll just get straight white. Especially with energy. I mean, if you pump this full of energy, blech. Oh yes, down here, you've got your ice, milk, cream, sugar, and coffee. Obviously, milk, cream, and sugar make it sweet, and then ice, you know, makes it potent. Like here, if I go dark, we'll hit soda this time. We'll do, I'll mix it up for you guys. We'll do 80%. We'll do 40%. I'm going to see if it's going to do it this time. Get a little bit of ice and cream. See, you've got like a purple flavor because I kind of mushed them all in between, you know? You that? Yeah, blue, blue, Ooh, purple. We should make that a, we should make that, we should make that a drink. Call it the Galaxy, the Galaxy Bear. Whoop. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, you can make all sorts of crazy stuff with this thing. Like here, if I go beer, no need to click the potency because it automatically, you know, put a little bit of sour in there. A little bit of fruity. We'll do energy this time. About 60 energy. And 80. 
ice, we'll do sugar and cream. So, as you can see, it comes out like Radio I said energy. with the uh, with the energy, makes it whitish. It's like a light green, you know what I mean? Because the sour in there is more potent than the fruity and the sweet. But the the fruity, sweet, and energy kind of give it that kind of color, you know. Looks kind of interesting. Hmm. So yeah. Oh, and one more thing. If you ever need water, just click pour. That is water. It it does look like a dark, dark color, but that's just water. That. I just tell people to go drink out of the toilet if they're too drunk. Screw them. <laughs> toilet water. Let them drink. They'll be fine. Yeah. So yeah, that's how you run the vending machine here at Azuki's Bar. And yeah, yeah. That's, ba that's basically about it. Uh, this is uh, this is Shinobi. This is uh, one of our. It's one of our heads have trials here. Uh, this is Yismo. This is Yismo is one of our. Uh, is our event coordinator. Uh, she, she is in charge of basically finding all of our good talent that goes up onto the stage. Um, <laughs> fantastic person. Um, but yeah, so a few other things I kind of wanted to touch and go over here. Uh, at a certain point, we're gonna have a hue slider that we're gonna be able to. Uh, say you select fruity, you'll be able to like get like a more fine. You'll be able to adjust like the actual like like the hex code combinate colors a lot easier than uh, you could with just, you know, selecting just preset, you know, amounts. Um, the, the coffee it was going to be adding a hot steamy effect. We'll go over that in a later video. Um, sugar is going to, is going to increase your movement speed. Uh, then cream and milk just add like a more of a mellow effect to the, to the, um, visuals and ice just adds ice. Um, the shot glass is an is an instant pour, instant drink. Multiplies that uh, whatever effect the alcohol. Um, that's really the only effect on these. Um, we will have a drink shenari. Um, you'll have to look in the bartending resources to get the drink shenari, or ask any kind of head staff. Um, and then these will be available at a later date. We have snap-on additives. But yeah.